My name is Chloe, I am an LGBT youth worker in Manchester and I'm one of the organisers for Rainbow Noir, which is an LGBTQ group for people of colour in Manchester. Uh, I've chosen Jackie Kay to speak about today. She's a poet, she's a writer, uh, she's a mixed race black lesbian from Scotland and I just really love, well I really enjoy both her written work and her as a person. I think she's brilliant so I really want to celebrate her in LGBT History Month. So she writes lots of stories about LGBTQ people, so I just love that and I first came across um, snippets of her poetry which is about women and her love for women and her relationships um, and across her short stories as well which are just really accessible and they're just about everyday people which I really relate to so it's kind of reading about stories that you feel could be real so I really like that about her work and she comes across really warm on the page and Trumpet was one of the first novels I read by her and I was just blown away. I don't think I knew much about trans people at that point and to know that or to read about this black trumpet player who died and then the effects of people not having known that he was trans, um, I just thought it was a brilliant story. So I really, really warmed to her writing and I've just been kind of encapsulated ever since by her. So the poem I've chosen to read is called In My Country and um, so Jackie, Clay is, Jackie Kay is a mixed race black lesbian from Scotland. Um, and I think there's not really much about being black in Scotland that's accessible in terms of people's narratives. So I came across this poem and I really just like, I just love everything about Jackie Kay, but I, I thought this poem was really um, encapsulating in quite a short space of time. So it's called In My Country, and it's walking by the waters down where an honest river shakes hands with the sea. A woman passed round me in a slow, watchful circle as if I were a superstition, or the worst dregs of her imagination. So when she finally spoke, her words spliced into bars of an old wheel, a segment of air. Where do you come from? Here, I said. Here, these parts. So I just thought that's, that that piece really resonates, probably with a lot of people in England, actually, but especially in Scotland, having so few black people um, visible there, I just thought it was quite a sweet 